Today's subject, rather, today's session is about study of colors, form of the painting, use of colors, and again, texture. So, let us start with study of colors. Study of colors is a very important part of painting. For example, in this particular painting, there are different colors. Uh, chrome yellow, vermilion, sap green, white of course, which has been mingled up, merged up with the colors, red, burnt amber, burnt cyanide, and sap green. So these are the colors which have been used over here. But first of all, we have to know how these colors are coming in that way. Actually, colors have got three parts. First part is primary colors. It has got only three colors. My dear friends, this is very interesting one. Three parts only. Three colors. Red, yellow and blue. These three colors cannot be created. These three colors are there already. From these three colors, actually we go to secondary colors. For an example, here we can see a good example of that secondary color. See, yellow and blue has created green. This is secondary color. This secondary color actually the mixture of two these three particular colors. For example, yellow and blue creates green. Yellow and red creates orange. Blue and red creates brown. And if we increase the, I mean, for example, red, it will be blackish brown. And if we decrease the uh, part of yellow, rather uh, part of red, it will be uh, a lighter one. Again, this particular use of color is very important as far as a painting is concerned. Because when a particular person is doing the painting, he or she is putting the color on the particular painting to depict his mental I mean, uh, the state of mind, rather, I would say. This particular word would be uh, 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 good enough to explain this particular uh, um, point. Mental structure, mental condition. It might be the person when he was or she was, he is or she is uh, doing a painting in a very jubilant mood. In that case, it has always been seen that particular person is using very bright colors. Again, I am interrupting with some technical points. What is bright colors? There are two forms of colors once again. Some are warm colors, some are cool colors. For example, bright colors, uh, for example, lemon yellow, red, uh, vermilion, these are all warm colors. It creates something excitement within a person's mind. For example, once again, this particular painting helps us a lot. We must be thankful to this particular painting. Yellow. Look at this particular color, yellow. Obviously, who is looking at this particular color, yellow, is creating, this particular color is creating some jubilancy within the mind of a particular person, even who is in a moral state of mind. Again, this particular color, red. It is also creating a little bit of, uh, might have been, uh, as we say, red is a color of danger, not at all. Red is a color of uh, love. So it is creating a sub particular um, uh, influence within the mind of a viewer. Again, to compensate these two colors, some uh, uh, cool color, rather we will say cool color because this is a lighter shade of green. This lighter shade of green it has been made by using white within with blue and yellow. This lighter shade is creating a little bit of cool effect within the mind of the viewers. So simultaneously, when a painter doing a painting, he or she must use cool color and warm color 
side by side. Otherwise, the whole painting can be disrupted. One. For example, if we use all through the uh, painting warm colors, then the whole painting might have created uh, irritating uh, um, feelings within the viewers. I will not say that throughout the world all painters use only the cool colors or only the warm colors or mixing it up. It can be done, but that is different point. We will talk about that particular point later on. But at this very moment, we will talk about the using of colors by using cool and light colors. Then again, from colors, another part of color is tone. What is tone? Tone is the depth of the of the colors. For example, here we can see orange, yellow, red, everything. Now, please pay attention to this particular point. Here, after yellow, there is a darkish part. Here, after orange and yellow, there is a darkish part. These are the tone of the painting. This particular tone actually creating the perspective as we as I said in the previous class perspective that will come later on in an elaborate way but as far as this particular painting this particular tone is creating a little bit of perspective in this particular paintings of, of flowers. Now we can when we see on this particular painting we will see this particular flower in front and this particular flower bit away from it. So this particular tone has created this particular effect on this particular painting. Well, the most important part, rather I will say um, one of the most important part, not the most, because there are lots of things to discuss about in different classes. That is form. F-O-R-A, form. Form of the painting. Here we can see a painting which is more or less realistic one. Form of painting can be realistic, form of painting can be distorted as we generally say, uh, popularly said, abstract. There is no abstract word. Abstract word is something very, very, uh, uh, rather we can say popularly used word. We will discuss about it later on. And another form is that, that is in between abstract and in be uh, and realistic that is called surrealistic so the form is very important the painter who is doing the painting is choosing the form and then he is depicting it on the particular canvas here this particular painting has been uh, uh, placed in as a more or less realistic form with a little bit of uh, textures as well as little bit of patches. Again, the word texture is coming. Little bit of patches and little bit of textures. Let us go to another painting so that we can define it better. Well, as I have said, painting, form of painting, colors. Here is an example of another one. See this particular dancing girl. Well, it has created a different form as we have seen it, seen the form of a uh, painting previously that was a still life this is a figurative painting this is called figurative painting the form of this painting is figurative and of course realistic it is not being distorted it is realistic again if we take a good view of this particular painting we can see the, the balance as we have said, the, uh, the structure of the painting is properly balanced. As in the previous classes, I said, the division of uh, space. Here again, we can see that this particular painting is a little bit on the right, right hand side. The space here is lesser than this particular space. So this is the breathing space of the particular painting as far as the space division is concerned. I am taking a little, little, a little points from the previous classes once again. So again, the texture 
form, as you can see, there are different textures have been used with flat brushes, with spatula. There are different materials and uh, 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 I mean, I mean, different types of things which are being used in modern painting, especially to create this particular text textures. In this particular painting, we have used spatulas and brushes. So these are the textures. As we can see, without touching it, we can see that this is a uplifted one. This part is a smooth one. This is the thing that an artist can create. Even a viewer who is looking at it can feel this part is an uplifted, little bit uplifted on the canvas, and this part is being smudged off. So this is the magic of texture. Now the form, as far as form is concerned, it is realistic one and it is a rhythmic one. Another point of form is rhythm. Whenever a painter is doing a painting, whether it is a realistic painting, whether it is so-called abstract painting, whether it is surrealistic painting, there must be a rhythm. Here the rhythm of this particular dancing girl is awesome. This particular rhythm has created a special effect within the mind of the painter, I mean within the mind of the viewers when they will see, when they will look at this particular paintings as well as the textures will include, will add something else to this particular form. So texture, form, colors, all are there in this particular paintings using as I have said warm color and cool color. See, warm colors are there, red. Warm colors are there, yellows. Cool colors are there, blue. And the colors which absorbs all the colors, that is, rather reflects and sometimes absorbs, in which colors all the colors merges and all the colors comes out, that is white. It is also there. So this particular color is attracting the whole uh, painting. I mean, the, when, the, when the viewer will look at the painting, they will first see this white color, then the whole, um, uh, the, the eyes of the, of the viewers will go through the different part of the painting. So this is a very good example of this particular uh, um, form, as well as texture, as well as tone, as I have dis uh, described before. So my friends, to conclude this particular class of uh, uh, study of colors, textures, depth uh, um, uh, as a bit said, uh, tone, all these things. Once again, I will repeat those particular words as I have said in the last classes. See the paintings of different big painters, not only the painters of Europe, of the Renaissance painter, painters, of course but also the painters of India. For example, Rabindranath Tagore. For example, Jamini Roy. For example, uh, Nandulal Bosch. For example, uh, Ranesh Pine. For example, Vikash Bhattacharya. So, if you go through the paintings of these uh, painters, you will see how they have used textures, how they have used colors, how they have used tones, how they have used forms. So, all these things, if we see these particular classes number of times and you add uh, with yourselves, I mean by yourselves rather, those paintings side by side and see the uh, relation, what I have said and what is there in the, uh, those uh, paintings of those masters, you will find obviously the same thing as I have said in these classes. And that will help you a lot to go further in studying painting. Thank you very much for the day.